hello welcome i'm going to teach you how to solve this tricky equation now when you see this you'll be like this is given as m divided by 3 to the 6th power is equal to 2 to the 6th power now since the powers are the same you can just equate the basis to have m divided by 3 is equal to 2 then to remove this 3 you multiply both sides by 3 so if you do that m will give you multiply this it gives you 6 this is just one out of the solutions you are supposed to have for m okay when you look at this you see that this is raised to the sixth power meaning that this m is raised to the power of six so what it means is that we are expected to get six solutions for m join me in this tutorial as i teach you how to solve this kind of equations when you see them it's just so easy now to do this we are going to begin with solution so this is what we have m divided by 3 to the 6th power is equal to 2 to the 6th power now just remember for each time you have a divided by b to the power of m it is equal to a to the power of m divided by b to the power of m now for this we can write it as m to the 6th power divided by 3 to the 6th power is equal to 2 to the 6th power now what do you think we should do next we can choose to multiply both sides by this so as to clear the fraction so if you do that you will have m to the sixth power divided by three to the sixth power is multiplied by three to the sixth power which is two to the sixth power multiplied by three to the sixth power now these two can cancel so we are having m to the sixth power is equal to 2 to the 6th power is multiplied by 3 to the 6th power. Now quickly remember that for each time you have A multiplied by B and is raised to power of M, it is the same as A to the power of M multiplied by B to the power of M. So this is going to guide us. Now from, this, from here, we are going to have M to the 6th power is equal to this is the same as 2 multiplied by 3 to the sixth power if you keep simplifying you have m to the sixth power multiply this it gives us six to the sixth power now this is carrying a positive sign to bring it to the left side you subtract so we are going to have m to the sixth power this will be minus six to the sixth power is equal to zero now remember that for each time you have a to the power of m raised to power of n it is a to the power of mn the powers we multiply now it means that this can be written as m to the third power is raised to the power of two when you multiply this it gives you back six okay minus this will be six to the power of three is raised to the power of two if you multiply this it gives you back six and this is equal to zero now you observe carefully that this is of this form a squared minus b squared you see and whenever you have this it is equal to a plus b into a minus b we call it the difference of two squares now we're going to use this to simplify and to do that we have m to the power of three plus six to the power of three into m to the power of 3 minus 6 to the power of 3 is now equal to 0. Interesting. Now, remember when you have a, b to be equal to 0, is either that a is equal to 0 or b is equal to 0. Okay? So this is also going to guide us in solving this. Now, what do you do? This statement means that either m cube plus 6 cube is equal to 0 or m cube minus c cube is equal to zero now we're going to solve this first then we come back to this okay so solving this first we are going to have first let's solve m cube plus c cube is equal to zero now to solve this quickly remember that for every a cubed plus b cubed is equal to a plus b into a squared minus a b plus b squared 
this is what we are going to apply in solving this and to do that see what we are going to have m cubed plus 6 cubed is equal to 0 okay we are applying this so it's going to give us m plus 6 into you square this m squared minus multiply this to you have 6m then plus b squared this is our b so we have 6 squared and this is equal to 0 now if you keep simplifying you have m plus 6 into m squared minus 6m c squared is 6 times 6 and that will give us 36 is equal to 0 now what do you do remember for these two to be equal to 0 it means that either m plus 6 is equal to 0 okay then if you solve this this is addition subtract 6 from both sides so you have m will give us negative 6 so this gives us the first value of m remember is either that this is equal to 0 or this is equal to 0 so we can do this we have m squared minus 6m plus 36 is equal to 0 now this is your usual quadratic equation because the highest power of m is 2 okay so we quickly remember the formula which says for every m it is negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a now this formula is going to guide us in solving this equation to have remember that your a is the coefficient of m squared which is 1 our b is the coefficient of m which is negative 6 and our c is constant which is 36 plug these values into the formula we are going to have m will give us negative our b is negative okay so we're going to have negative 6 plus or minus square root of negative 6 squared minus 4 multiplies a is 1 multiplied by our c is 36 and this is divided by 2 multiplied by our a which is 1 so what do you do next we have m is equal to this will give us 6 plus or minus square root of negative 6 squared is negative 6 times negative 6 which will give us positive 36 so we have 36 okay now if you simplify you have multiplied this it gives you negative 144 okay divided by 2 times 1 will give us 2 don't forget to like this video and also share this so that others will learn with you let's know how you feel about this in the comment section we always want to serve you best and if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification button thank you for joining through this point and let's continue so from this point we have our m is equal to 6 plus or minus so we have square root of if you subtract this it gives you negative 108 divided by 2 now we keep simplifying m will give us 6 so we have m is 6 plus or minus this is the same as root of negative 1 multiplied by 108 okay and is divided by 2 now remember for each time you have root a multiplied by b is equal to root a multiplied by root b now this is the same as n is equal to 6 plus or minus square root of negative 1 multiplied by root 108 interesting now keep simplifying remember this is divided by 2 okay so we have m is equal to 6 plus or minus root of negative 1 multiplied by now remember that this has a perfect square in it because you know that 36 as a perfect square when you multiply it with 3 it gives you 108 so this can be written as this okay now this is divided by 2 also remember that for each time you have root of negative 1 it is always equal to i okay this is your imaginary unit in that case we have m is equal to 6 plus or minus this will turn to i so we have i and the square root of 36 is 6 
So we're going to bring it out from the root. So we have 6. Then this remains because it's not perfect. So we have root 3. And all these are divided by 2. Simplify more from here. We have n is equal to 6 plus or minus. This will give us 6 root 3i. Okay. So we can divide each by the denominator. And when you do that, m will give us, divide this, it gives us 3 plus or minus. This will cancel, we have 3 root 3i, okay? So it means that the second and the third value of m will give us 3 plus or minus 3 root 3i. Now we're going to get the remaining values of m. Remember we made a statement earlier that m cubed minus 6 cubed is also equal to 0. So this is the second equation and let's solve it together, okay? So to solve this, we need to remember for every a cubed minus b cubed, it is a minus b into a squared plus ab plus b squared. This is going to guide us, okay? So to simplify this, we are going to have m minus 6 into we now have m squared plus multiply this you have 6m then square your b you have 6 squared and this is equal to 0 interesting now what do you do next we are still going to have m minus 6 is equal to 0 let's solve this first so you add 6 to both sides if you do that m will give us add this you get 6 so this becomes the fourth value of our m. Now, to solve this, we are going to have m squared plus 6m plus 6 squared is 6 times 6 to give us 36 is equal to 0. This is also your quadratic. And to solve this using the formula, remember our a is 1, our b is 6, and our c is 36. If you plug it in the formula we have, m is equal to, let's recall our formula, minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So this is giving us negative of 6, okay, plus or minus square root of, our b is 6 squared minus 4, our a is 1 multiplied by 36. So this is divided by 2 multiplied by 1. So if you keep simplifying this, we are going to have m is equal to negative 6 plus or minus square root of, this will give us 36. If you multiply, you have negative 144 divided by 2. Now simplify, we have m is equal to negative 6 plus or minus, subtract this, it gives you negative 108 and is divided by 2. So we now have m is equal to negative 6 plus or minus. Remember for simplifying this, we got 6 root 3i, okay? And is divided by 2. So if simplify, we have m is equal to negative 6 divided by 2 plus or minus 6 root 3i divided by 2. Simplify, we have m will give us, this will give us negative 3 plus or minus, this is 3 root 3i. Now this becomes the fifth and the sixth value of m as negative 3 plus or minus 3 root 3i. Now to recall all the values of x, to gather them together, we have, so the first value of m gave us negative 6. The second value of m gave us 6. The third value of m gave us 3 plus 3 root 3i. Okay. Now we have the fourth value of m is 3 minus 3 root 3i. Okay. Now the fifth value of m is negative 3 plus 3 root 3i. And finally, the sixth value of m gave us negative 3 minus 3 root 3i. So these are the six values of uh, m. If you remember, we said 6 is one of the solutions. So these two solutions are the real solutions because you can find them on the number line. And these four 
uh, the complex uh, solution. And I hope you really learned something today. Let's know how much. And don't forget to share this video. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe for more tips and click on the notification button to get updates from us. Thank you for always engaging and give this tutorial a thumbs up. See you in our next class. Bye-bye.